Hello everyone, it's me, Teacher Jelly. Ang inyo, Teacher Elang Lingkod. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. In this video, I will teach you how to create your own book cover, module cover, or self-learning kit cover within 15 minutes or less. Also, I'll be showing you sample book covers that I have created for different subjects, although not all subjects. It's for sharing. I'll be linking the Google Drive link in the description box below, wherein you can access the sample book covers that I have created. And you're also free to use that template and just edit the name. For this tutorial, we're gonna be using canva.com. Canva is a website that you can access and use for free. I'm gonna be putting the website link below as well, so it will be easier for you to find it. Just click that and it will direct you to the website. By the way, if you have not joined our giveaway, just click the giveaway post link as well. We are giving away three clip-on lapel microphones wow. that you can use for your teaching and learning needs. The giveaway is open for all students and teachers. So hurry now and join. Okay, grab your laptop or your mobile phone and let's begin. Before we begin, teachers, I'll be linking in the description box this Google Drive folder where I have shared the ABC with Jollibee PowerPoint. In this same folder, I'll be sharing some of the book covers that I have created. I will be uploading the version wherein there's no name. So you can put your own name on it. So you can download that, edit, and then print it out. It's for free, it's for everyone. So now let's go to the main point of this video. I'm gonna be showing you the process and how you can make your own book cover or module cover for like 15 minutes. If you will be able to understand things faster, kung mas mabilis nyo pong ma... Tawag dun? Ma... Kung mas pabilis nyo pong magagamay yung mga tools, less than 15 minutes. Okay, so this is one of the covers that I have created just earlier. So marami na po akong nagawa within one hour. Let's click this so you can see full screen. It's written here, self-learning kit. Learn at home with the self-paced module. Lessons, tasks, assessments. Wala na akong maisa ko yung nilagay ko. And by Teacherella Diaries. In the Google Drive link below, wala na pong Teacherella Diaries. Because I want you to use it freely. Just type your name on that part. Alright? So what are the other book covers that I have created? Okay, so that's the first one. Next, we have here for English teachers. Or for elementary teachers na nagtuturo ng subject-verb agreement. Next one, we also have this. Grade 6 level, intermediate mathematics. Learning math made easy. Unang hakbang sa pagbasa, abakada. And the last one, distance learning essentials, junior high school level. Getting ready for online classes this 2020. Okay, yan po ay mga made up titles lang po. But if you know that one of these book titles fit and is applicable to the content of your module, feel free to just modify the name. Now, I'm gonna be showing you the process how. Okay, let's type on our browser, canva.com. Okay, now there's a prompt here which says log in or sign up. Let's say you still don't have an account in Canva. Sign up with Google, click that. So at this point, all you have to do is to type or choose your Google account. So let's say here, Teacher Jelly question. Can we use Canva for free? Yes, it's for free. But there are some pictures that you cannot use because there is a watermark. Mamaya papakita ko yun sa inyo. Now, start your first design. I want you to type in the search bar, book cover. Ayan. So, ito na po ang makikita nyo once you click book cover. 
And the good news is, marami na pong pre-made templates na pwede nyo pong gamitin. Okay, like this one. Ito po under template, nakikita nyo po. Ano pa ba yung mga choices natin for templates? Ayan, merong inspirational book cover. Click nyo lang yung araw na yan. Or romance book cover, thriller book cover, creative book cover. Ayan, mostly dito po ako makuha ng inspirations. Actually po, yung mga pinakita ko po sa inyo ay meron na po yung inspiration dito mismo sa mga pre-made templates. Wow! Binago ko lang po yung kulay, may dinagdag lang po akong mga pictures, may dinagdag lang po akong mga designs. At syempre, iniba ko po yung text. Ganun po. So, so you can choose from these templates because what's good about this is maganda na yung blending ng colors Maganda na rin po yung blending ng text. My tip for you is to just use two to three text styles. But before we start editing that, it's very important to know the tools that you have here on the sidebar. So after the template icon, you have the upload. In this tab, you can upload an image or a video. So let's say we need a picture that we will put on our book cover. Okay, so let's click this. Now it's gonna start uploading. Once it is done uploading, pwede mo na pong gamitin ang picture na to sa iyong book cover. Example po. Ayan, di ba? Nalagay na natin siya sa book cover. Didiscuss natin yan. Next, photos. So, ito po sa photo na tab. Meron na pong readily available na millions of photos with high quality. Napakaganda po ng mga kuha dito. Let's say, ang self-learning kit mo ay tungkol sa cookery. Ayan, kunwari, um, grade 11. Ayan, pimili ka lang po ng mga magagandang pictures. Ang dami po dyan. May food, may about beach, about computer, about flowers, money, family, business. There's a lot of good photos in this photo tab. Next, we have elements. Dito naman po sa elements, dito natin is a search. And kukunin yung mga graphics. Ayan, dito po kasi ano eh, talagang photo siya ng ng real objects. Pero dito, graphic siya. Drawing, clip art, ganun. Icons. So, meron po tayo dyang shapes. Ayan, mga basic ones. So, paano mo mahanap ng mabilis? Tatype mo lang po dyan. Let's say, teacher. O, oh, ba Ang daming teachers. Pero puro ba yung mga teachers? Okay, let's say, ito yung pinili natin. Baka click lang natin yan. At, ay, nandiyan na si ma'am. Bongga. Ang fresh ni ma'am dito. <laughs> At dilaw ang buhok ni ma'am. Okay. Ayan, ba Kahit i-expand natin yung picture, hindi pumapangit yung quality. And you can use this photo for free. So, Teacher Jelly, how will we know if the photo is not for free? Makikita nyo po, sa ilalim ng mga photos, indicated kung free, or kung pro. If it's pro, it means you have to pay for it. See? Pay one dollar. Just for that photo. 50 pesos na po yan sa atin. Okay? Makakabili na tayo ng bigas dyan, mga teacher. So, wag na po kayong bumili niyan. Just go to Google and type one photo. Let Next naman, after elements, we have text. So, this is what I've been telling you earlier. Under the text tab, you can see a lot of font style choices. And what's also good about this is that we already have font combinations choices. So, no need to explore ng iba-ibang fonts. Meron na po dyang font combination suggestions. Just choose whatever you like. It depends on your preference and it also depends on how you want your book cover to look. So, those are the only tools that we need for our book cover making. Now, let's choose our book cover inspiration. So, we have lots of choices. But I really go for a clean looking book cover inspiration. Okay. Let's pick this. Click.
Now let's start editing. So for example, my subject is English and I made a content about parts of speech, figures of speech, types of sentences, yung mga basic topics po sa English. Ang naisip kong module title ay Basics of English. By the way, ngayon pa lang po mag start yung 15 minutes na sinasabi ko sa aking title, no? Yung claim ko. And explain ko lang po muna kasi kanina yung mga tools. So, eto na talaga yung editing phase. Okay, na-type ko na ang title. Next step, we need to put relevant images. Kailangan yung mga pictures natin related sa topic natin, no? Mostly, classic pictures would be books, students, teachers, school supplies. Okay, let's type board. So, pipili tayo ng magandang picture, pero libre. Kasi wala po tayong pambayan. <laughs> I think you have noticed that once I click this photo, may lumabas na color palette. Ibig sabihin po niyan, you are free to choose the color of the picture that you have selected. So, ito na po yung picture natin. Let's say, gusto natin siyang ilagay sa likod ng text natin. So, kumbaga, gusto natin na ang itsura ay nakasulat itong text sa ating blackboard. Click lang po natin, position, backward. Ayan, it looks better now. Okay, on this part, add a little bit more details. Pwede mo ding ilagay pang anong level ang module mo, kung gusto mo. Again, you can choose the color of your text. So, you can type here, Self-learning kit for beginners. Kunwari ganun. Okay, there. Now, do some adjustments. I want to add another design. Mm, I'm gonna type tape. Ayan. Gusto ko yung itsura nito eh. Transparent looking lang siya. Pero may onting additional design. Choose the color that you like. Position backwards para nasa ilalim siya ng text. Kumbaga siya yung background ng text. Ayan. Yes. It's improving. Now, you can put your name up here or below. But for me, I always choose to put my name below. Doon sa babang part ng cover. I'm gonna add more design which will complement other colors of this book cover. My tip for you, teacher, is to stick with the color palette that you have. So, as you can see, more on reds, oranges, and brown. Yung aking colors na ginagamit. Wag po tayong mag-deviate sa mga kulay na available na dito sa ating book cover. Para mas maganda po siyang tingnan. And I'm just gonna type my name. Okay, done. Now, this part looks too bare for me. Masyado pa siyang free space. And we can still add more images here. I'm gonna type student. Oy, ang cute! Tingnan nyo, ang daming pagpipilian. Tapos, libre lang din. Choose the images that you like. And do not forget that you are free to change the color of your picture. So I want my photos to be of the same color 
following the color palette of my book cover para mas maganda siyang tingnan. And yay! We're done! As easy as that. So, wala pang 15 minutes yung mismong paggawa po ng book cover. Now, the last step is to save it and download. You have options there. You have save it as a PDF, save it as a JPEG, but I suggest that you choose PNG, high quality image. Click that and it will start to be downloaded on your computer. Here's the final product. Yay! Good job! I hope you find this video helpful. If you know someone who needs this kind of tutorial content, feel free to share this with them. Comment down below your module topic and grade level. I'll be choosing one and I will make a book cover just for you. I'll see you again on my next video. Bye-bye!